Welcome in the kitchen. I'm glad you're here. If you could hit that subscribe button, it means the world to me. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me comment. So love your comments. And today we are going to make a lemon blueberry pound cake. Love pound cake because it's cake, not icing. It's usually just got a little glaze over it. Sometimes nothing at all. And I'm not an icing girl. I'm a cake girl. I love a cake. Um, so, let's get started. First of all, let's go over our ingredients. Let me get my recipe here so I don't leave something out. We've got three sticks of unsalted butter. We have eight ounces of cream cheese. These have been sitting out a while. We have six eggs, six large eggs, three cups of all-purpose flour, right here. One, I've already measured this out. Aren't y'all proud of me? One teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Two large lemons, and I've not got my lemons done yet because I want to do those right when we get ready. A tablespoon of vanilla, and I haven't measured that out, but I've got it sitting here, and my tablespoon, so I don't have to go hunt. Two cups of sugar, salt, and two cups of blueberries. And then we've got a cup of powdered sugar for our glaze. All right. Now then, it says, we're going to read our directions. Y'all can cook if you read directions, okay? All you got to do is read directions. I don't want to hear anybody say, well, I can't cook. Yes, you can. If you can read directions, you can cook, okay? Because a lot of times all I'm doing is just reading a recipe. All right. We've got one tablespoon of melted butter. And we've got one tablespoon of flour. And we'll mix these together. And make a paste. What it says to do. Now then, we are going to spread this on our, oh, I tried, on our cake pan. And I already sprayed it before I read what it said to do, but I'm going to do this too, okay? We're just going to take and spread this around just like this. Get it on all the surfaces. I guess this is just like buttering and flouring it. I don't know. Can y'all see? I don't think you can see what I'm doing. Now you can. We're about around here. Some of the brown off my skillet, my pan, because it'll hurt. All right, now then, there's our cake pan already. Set it right there. Now then, it says, read the directions, y'all. Read your directions, read your directions. Oh, we got to put, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to mix it right in here. We're going to take our flour, our baking powder, and our baking soda right in there. All right, flour, baking soda, and baking powder in there. I'm going to take a whisk so I can find one right here. This one, a small one. I don't want a real big one because the real big one will 
have it going every which way. Here we go. And I'm just going to whisk that in there together. You just want to get that in there so you don't have big lumps of soda and stuff. All right, and I'm going to set this over here to the side because we'll get back to that in just a minute. Now then, we have got to zest a lemon. All right, zest lemon. Now, to zest a lemon, you do it this way. Not, you do it like this and your zest comes up here, okay? You don't do it like this so it falls. You do it like this so that you capture it. And y'all just, you know, you just go across it one time. And y'all, that zest is... Oh, it smells so wonderful. Just, oh my goodness, I love the way lemons smell. I love for my house to smell like lemons. I think I put this right in this. I see how the rest of this lemon zested. This is a new lemon zester, y'all. I had a little one. It was not as nice as this one. And I found this one, I think, probably at Home Goods. You know, that's where I tend to buy things like that. I'm going to get me one of these little bitty spatulas here. Get every bit of this lemon zest. It said just a tablespoon, but you know what? I don't know if I've got a tablespoon or a little bit more. I'm going to try to get every little smidgen. All right, there's our lemon zest. And we add to that our two cups of sugar. About like that. And we add three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. So that would be a half a teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon. Right like that. There's our salt. Now then it says to mix all this. I think, do I put juice in here too? Supposed to rub it together. So that's why it says use your hand. So that's what I'm doing. Can y'all see? No, probably not. Oh, but that's just, oh, that's just lemony. Oh, mercy. All right. Now we're going to add the butter. And it's not real soft, y'all. I'm going to stick it in the microwave for just a second. Okay, I put that butter in there for just about 10 seconds. Um, that's all it needed. Just about 10 seconds. I can still smell these lemons. You know if you do not have unsalted butter, you can use salted. Just leave out the salt. Okay. And here's our cream cheese. So I'm going to get it off of its package here. Now then, we're going to turn this on and get it all off of here. There we go. We're going to turn this on. And just let that all mix together for about five minutes. And I'll be back in about five minutes. All right, while that's going, I'm going to take this lemon that we zested, and I may... Add more lemon zest to it. I just think it'd be so yummy if it was real lemony. But I'm going to use these lemons. Now, you know when you're using one of these, it goes upside down like that, okay? And I need... Okay, there's one. Half do the other half of this lemon. I 
Okay. Now then, I need to take two tablespoons. That's what it says to do. I need a tablespoon of the nail. Well, this is still just going away. And the longer it beats, the better it is. There's me a tablespoon of vanilla. Right like that. Now I need two tablespoons of lemon juice. And there's one. And there's two. Now then, I'm going to zest this lemon. Y'all, I did wash these lemons very well. Said you just want to get the top. Let's go over it one time. Just get the top. If you see a little spot like that, just go around it. Just because this will make it more lemony, it will not hurt this at all. And I love lemon, especially in the spring and summer. zest this lemon just like this we're going to turn this off before we add this lemon zest because don't ask me how I know but this thing will get caught up in there and then you're in the trouble and you're in the pickle all right there we go zest of two large lemons that's what I'm using anyway all right now then I'm going to go ahead and juice this other one right in here. Y'all don't have a fancy juicer like this. This is the way you do it. Can y'all see me? You just squeeze that lemon. Right like that. Sometimes I think that even gets more juice than than the squeezer. Oh, I'm just getting seeds now. All right, I'll strain that out. Okay, now then, that lemon zest off the top. We are going to crack our eggs. Feel that? I'm making a mess today, y'all. Y'all tuned in for a good show because I am making a mess. This is mess making day. But you know what? I'm making a cake too. I thought I had me some use this bowl right here. Right here we go. I'm gonna crack our eggs and add them one at a time. And I crack them into a separate bowl because I do not want them to have shells or, you know, today it's no telling what it's liable to have in it. There's two. Y'all add them one at a time because eggs will tend to separate your butter and sugar mixture. And you want to give them time to get beat in there good before you add another one. That's why recipes will say add one at a time. That was five. We got one more, y'all. Here is our sixth egg. Right like that. I'm gonna put these shells in here and take it over here. Put it in the trash. Wash my hands again. Okay, look at our batter coming together there. Now then, what does our recipe say we're supposed to make a mess with next? 
Um, add the lemon juice and the vanilla. All right, right there that is. Ooh. Okay, we're making a mess. You know, y'all know that I do make messes. Do I not all the time make a mess? All right. Now then, turn off the mixer, it says, because it knows I'll dump it in here and make a mess. Turn off the mixer. And add the flour. Okay. Okay, settle down in there, y'all. It goes a little bit wet in the bottom. I didn't know it, but it's okay because I think we've probably got extra flour anyway. See how I'm doing this? Because if I turn it on, that flour is going to go all over this kitchen. I'm just barely turning it on to stir. <laughs> it got flipped all over the kitchen anyway, even though the mixer didn't do it, I did it. Y'all, this is just a make a mess day, and I've tasted this batter though. Let's see if it's got enough lemon in it. Mmm. That tastes yummy. You know, I know you're not supposed to taste raw eggs, but I do it all the time. I've done it my whole life, and I'm not dead yet. So if a raw egg kills me, I'll be sure to let y'all know. Okay. Now then, we just have to beat that till it's smooth. I can turn it up a little bit now. And I believe it's good and smooth. Okay. Now then. This off. I'm gonna lick my fingers. Okie doke. Now then, it says to put half of this in our pan. Okay, can y'all see down in the pan good? I think you can. And I'm just gonna start scooping it right like this. I don't know how much half of it is, but I'm gonna put about half of it in here. spread this around. That's about half. Okay, now then, it says, where's my beater? Gotta have it back. Okay, we add, we've got two cups of blueberries. We're gonna add half of them in here. These are still kind of frozen just a little bit. Okay, there's half of them. We're going to stir them up. Just stir them around in there. Okay, there we go. Got them stirred up. Now then. We put this in here. I don't know why it says to do it like this, but this is what it says to do. Okay. Just because your blueberries are heavy and they will sink to the bottom. Okay, y'all, it's just about full. Okay. 
Now then we take our other cup of blueberries and we sprinkle them on the top. Y'all, you can use fresh blueberries if you have them, but I do not. And I had a pack of frozen blueberries that I needed to use, so I thought, hmm, I'm going to find me a recipe. Mmm. Mmm. Okie dokie, y'all. Now this goes into an oven that's been preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And it stays for 65 to 75 minutes. So that's an hour and five or an hour and 15 minutes. So we'll come back. We'll make our glaze sometime. And uh, we'll see what our cake looks like when it's ready to pop out of our pan. All right, here she's going in, you all. There she goes. I'll be back in an hour and a half or two hours, something like that. We'll make our glaze and dump our cake out and Cut us a big old piece because it's going to be so yummy. Okay, y'all, we're going to make our glaze for our cake. It's out of the oven, but we're not going to glaze it for a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and make this with you. I do not normally make a glaze in a food processor. Pull y'all down here and turn you a little bit so you can see. But I put me a few blueberries in there. About 10 or 12 frozen blueberries. And my lemon juice. And I've just been kind of pulsing it to kind of get those blueberries all broken up because I don't want chunks of blueberries. Y'all lost our hairs. Our short side lost our powdered sugar. Here's our cup of powdered sugar that we had already set out. But we're going to need more because I added those blueberries and they kind of turn liquidy. So I'll put about another half a cup in there to start with. And we'll mix this and see what we've got. Okay. believe it could use a little bit more. Y'all know I need to add just a little bit of salt. As a matter of fact... Instead of that chopping blade, I've got a whipping blade I can put on there now since I've got the blueberries already chopped up. I've never used. Let's give it a whirl. Mmm. My goodness, is that not just blueberry lemon happiness. That's what that is. Just some happy little blueberries and lemons. If y'all got one, it's supposed to like whipped cream and stuff. I don't know, but let's see what it does. It's not doing anything because my stuff's underneath it. Okay, so I'm just going to finish it up with a fork or a spoon. We'll try that little whipping thing next time. What do I want to use? I'll just use this. Because you all know we're just making a glaze. It's just, we don't want it thick like an icing. I believe that's going to be about the right amount of sugar. We've got little bits of blueberry in there. Can y'all see that? Just little bits of blueberry. I'll whip this up with this spatula and get all those lumps of sugar broken up. Yes, I'm going to add a little pinch of salt. Y'all can make an icing, but y'all know I'm not an icing girl. I'd rather have just a glaze. Or maybe just even just sprinkle it with some powdered sugar. Okay. Look at that. 
all those bits of blueberry. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, I gotta taste it. Y'all know that. Y'all, that's the perfect amount of blueberries, the perfect amount of lemons. That's the juice of one lemon and about 10 blueberries and some powdered sugar. Let me grab the salt. I had it right here. And I'll put just a couple little grains of salt in there. And there we go. Okay, now we'll get this together. There it is. Isn't that pretty? And I'll clean up the mess because y'all know I always make a mess. I'm so good at that. I should get a prize or something for making a mess. I'd win every time. All right, I'll be back when we get ready to finish up our cake. All right, here we're going to glaze our cake now. It's cool. Easter Easter on Okay, here's our cake. Look how yummy. We put that glaze on there. Now there's blueberries in it. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Now let's cut us a big old slice. You want to? You see where part of it was came loose. Need to find me a Something that'll be in. Right here's what I'm looking for. He's right here. You only come out better if you put it on a plate. I know, I know, I know. But I didn't do that, did I? There. There we go. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. And the blueberries did fall to the bottom. There's another little bite of the cake. That's the best part because it's on the bottom. Let's give this cake a taste test, as some say. Ready? Oh my goodness. Y'all get you a big bite of that. That's so good. Some with the blueberry. Mmm. That's really good, y'all. Ended up baking an hour and 20 minutes. Um, the recipe did say an hour and five to hour and 15, but all ovens are different. It took mine about an hour and 20 minutes. So, um, y'all make you this. It's a great Easter dessert. Make it ahead. Keep it in a closed up something i put it in this bowl so the glaze that ran down along the edges would stay in the in there it wouldn't just run around you could still get it out my granny always put her cakes like this in a bowl with a lid um kept them closed up and kept all the good yummy stuff there so y'all remember to like share subscribe Comment, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.